I want to explore H5P video with you by sharing that uh, to you as I work through some exercises. We're going to talk a little bit just really quickly for those who didn't register how you're supposed to register and my you know my apologies for those of you that weren't able to we'll try to get that that fixed up I want to show you how to search the catalog and I want to check out a couple of examples let me just double check what my next slide is so we're going to be going to h5pstudio.ecampusontario.ca and for this next few minutes of my presentation you do not need to have an account with H5P Studio. You can just join us there and um, we're going to take a look at the catalog and some examples. So I should have said this from the beginning and I did mention this in the email. I encourage you to open H5P Studio in a completely separate browser window rather than in a tab because I find it a little bit easier to jump from one window to another than to go from tab to tab. So that's my personal recommendation. You do you, uh, whatever you feel most comfortable with. So I need to stop sharing this for a moment. And I saw a question pop up. Is there a preferred search engine? Um, you don't you're not going to need a search or a, a preferred browser it's really up to you but I find if you're going to use blackboard chrome on the PC works better Safari for a Mac so I'm going to share my application window and Marco maybe you can give me some feedback once I've started to let me know that it's actually working Yes, I see your uh, Google um, image right now. Great. Then, okay. Okay. So, uh, Marco, I'm going to need you to keep an eye on the room for me a little bit and for questions because now I'm looking at this um, h5pstudio.ecampusontario.ca website and I can't see the chat room. So, here we are. Um, right now I am logged into my account let me log out for a moment when you first come here to this website it's actually here in the top right hand corner where you would work your way through the register process it should be pretty straightforward uh, name your title role uh, find St. Clair College down here on the list add your college email address and choose a username and it should create a new account and then send you an email um, and we will figure out how to help those who are having uh, problems with getting that email so I'm going to log in now when you first log in as a user you'll come to your dashboard and there might, might not be anything on there doesn't matter in fact, you don't even have to be logged in to do this part of H5P Studio, which is take a look at the catalog. And I think this is so much fun. I enjoy looking at what other people are creating and getting some ideas about what can be done. So I want to take a look at this panel that is on the left hand side. So you can search what other people have done you can search based on keywords you can choose a, a type of content but I really think it's fun to look through some of these different uh, subject areas so um, Patty asked a question so let's take a look at the medicine and nursing so I'm just selecting medicine and nursing and I'm going to come down here and click on the search button and it's going to sort out and give me some things that have already been created things like a brain lab labeling diagram let's take a look at that one Ooh. so here we have an exercise this is a, a called a drag and drop with an image and what I would need to do with this particular exercise is you can just see where all of these lines are there is a space where 
some of the, oh, there, now you can really see them, where these different labels can go. And sadly, I don't know where any of these, what any of these are. So I'm just going to stick them wherever. And hopefully, oh, I think I might know that one. And the people who know this are probably laughing at me. I feel like this one has to be somewhere in the front. I'm going to change these two. I'm going to put this one over here, and I'm going to put this one over there. I have no idea. It's a nice exercise. We can try these things out, and we can get some immediate <laughs> feedback. Hey, I got three right. That's pretty good for me. Um, the student gets some immediate feedback about how they did on this particular exercise, and I think that's great. So you, we asked about can we use this. Let's say you looked at this and thought, man, I could put this in my Blackboard right now for, in, you know, in Unit 2. This would be awesome. Let's find out if we can do that. We can check down here at the bottom of the exercise and see what the rights of use are. And you can see, I'm pointing to it on my screen, you can see that um, it is licensed Creative Commons by, which means we have to give attribution, so we are free to use this. And if we have to make some changes to it, we are free to modify it. And we can reuse it by copying it or downloading it into a new H5P container so that we can make the modifications or we can embed it, and I will show you how to do that shortly, immediately, right now, today, into our Blackboard, and it's available for students. And you don't even need to have an account to do that. So that's pretty cool. Marco, and I, am I missing any questions? I'm going to flip Irene, back Patrick, for a minute. Patrick asked, can scoring be added to the Blackboard Grade Center? Meaning, a student has tried that exercise. Can that be right. for marks? At, the, at this present time, through H5P Studio, scoring cannot be done. If our Blackboard administrators from the college would add H5P into our Blackboard, then it can be connected into our gradebook. But at this time, using H5P.org or H5P Studio, it's not possible to do um, scoring. However, there is a couple of exercises where it creates a PDF that can be printed at the end of an exercise. You could have students submit that and then grade that. That's a way around it. Before we leave this uh, medicine and nursing area, there's one that I wanted to show you that I thought was extremely cool. And that's these dialogue cards that Kim Carter is making. So these are our, our flashcards, right? We've seen these before. There's lots of different programs that, that do this. I love the idea that we could embed this exercise on sensory system medical terms right into our Blackboard. And it does the traditional thing. Here's the word. You can turn it. Here's the definition. But this is the part that I love right here. And I hope that you can hear this. I don't know if I shared. Marco, could you hear that? Could you hear the the uh, Kim Carter say this word? No. Oh, darn. I think what I forgot to do when I shared the screen was to uh, share the sound as well. I encourage you. I'm not going to change it now. I encourage you to take a look at these uh, things that Kim has created, especially this is good for nursing. This is good for uh, our, our medical office executive assistant, which I know I'm mangling up the name. Um, I thought that was fabulous. I have real trouble pronouncing things. So these dialogue cards, man, I wish I had had these when I was in college and university. And she's got a whole bunch of them. She's done them all. Very exciting. You don't have to create anything. Oh, let's double check. Rights of use. Yay! CC by uh, uh, 
um, version 4 international license is what that means. You can use this. You can make changes. Uh, she's got 105 muscular skeletal system medical terms in this exercise. You could use this and just choose the 20, 25 that are most important to you. Isn't that fabulous? That's pretty exciting. All right, let's take a look at a, a couple of other ones. Irene, Search system is, yes. Uh, before we move on, I, we've had a couple of questions. Can you detail the difference between embed and download? People have asked, how do you download? Or I saw the embed, but I didn't catch the download. Could you clarify sure. the difference? I sure can. Thank you for asking. Um, there's some flashcards about management and uh, um, accounting here. Let's take a look at that. Oh, these are fancy. So the little different kind of flashcard. Here I have to try to enter in the information. That's exciting. Oh, these are nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all excited. Blank, the, the group of activities associated with providing a product or service. I don't know. I'm going to say retail. Ooh, no, value chain. Ooh, I'm going to stop answering these. I'm going to look bad. Um, so here's a, the, the reuse piece. Let's just take a look. Rights of use. OK, so here the license is attribution, non-commercial, share alike. So we would have the right to, to reuse this, but whatever we created, we would have to promise that we were going to make it available in the catalog or in some other public forum or a public site so that uh, it could be used by other people. OK? Um, if I wanted to download that in order to be able to use it and modify it and remix it, that's where I would go to the reuse button. And I would either copy, or in some cases, I can download the H5P information and then upload it into a new H5P object that I create. So the download part is about creating or remixing someone else's work, all right? The embedding part here at the bottom under embed, embed is going to give me a iframe that I can then copy and paste into my Blackboard course using an item, creating and using an item uh, that will allow that exercise to appear within my Blackboard course. I hope that clears up the difference. Irene, uh, in overview, embed if I want an exact copy. I don't plan on changing a thing. I want it just as it is. Download yes. if I am intending to do some modifications for my specific course. You got it, Marco. No, Irene. That's perfect. Irene the next time you go in, can we again find that uh, location for determining the status, uh, the rights status for it again? I, I think you headed to the bottom and you found right. a little, okay. Just but if, if you look could. what's on the screen right now, right, we've got the catalog. And you notice the very last column of the catalog entries that are on the screen where it says license. You can see the license there as well. Uh, so, for example, the management accounting is CC by non-commercial share alike. There are a couple there that are undisclosed, so I wouldn't use or copy those. To go a little bit further, there's an accordion from Dorina uh, on managing improvement projects. That is licensed CC by. So that would be one we would be free to use. If you are looking, let me go back to that screen, this one. If you, let's take a look at, let's look at the accordion. I think it's pretty cool. So accordion, this idea that we have a whole series of um, titles of areas. We can click on it and we can see some additional information in each one of those sections. We have this on our college website. It's cool. 
it's hard to program if you don't know what you're doing. So the fact that we could do this with H5P really quick is kind of uh, exciting. So the this is the H5P window here. If we go down to the bottom of the window, we can also check out the copyright information for this object by looking at rights of use. And here it's CC BY. So we're free to use this. We have to give attribution to the original creator. Alrighty, let's go back to the catalog again. Um, let's look at some simple ones. We I talked about drag and drop. Uh, here's another one on question question set. This is one that I wanted to identify or I wanted to to model for you. Uh, so for example, it is basically a series of questions. In this case, it looks like they're multiple choice questions that are presented in a um, in a series. I also like, is there a drag, oh, I like drag and drop text. It's one of my favorite easy ones to do. Here's a human trafficking concept for you where the student will simply drag and drop their answers into the open boxes. And it, I didn't, boy, I'm failing all these quizzes. Um, it gives them immediate feedback. I think those are some of the exciting things that you can do. Um, coming back here. I am going to stop that for a moment because I think I did everything. Hi, Mark. Did you have a question? Sorry, trying to go between these two different uh, uh, windows here. Anyways, no problem. Um, yeah. So when I'm searching, or I'm looking in the catalog, I'm trying to find uh, something. Um, you know, it says show filters, but I, I don't see like a search function like that's it so i would just type in here whatever the um the, i think the, the search function might be where you put in some keywords yeah so i put in the keyword and it it, it's, it just brings me to the category right so i guess it's not really uh correct. It, not not so necessarily figured out because I see. Okay, so what I'm getting is that it'll say environment, like for instance, environment. It says environment and society or whatever. So it's really, as was mentioned earlier, some of these are three days ago, some was one week ago. Right. Is that it in this particular thing, or am I just searching wrong? No, no. That 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 might be it for right now, because okay. H5P Studio from eCampus Ontario just opened up in the last few weeks. Oh, I so see, it's, okay. It's yeah. a brand new service. What you might want to do, and that's why I mentioned the greater community through h5p.org, you're also welcome to go searching there through their catalog. Okay, so it'll be a different one. I didn't, didn't understand that initially, that there would be more content there at, at the .org. Okay. Okay, Great. Yep. Well, that's the you. broader community, but there again, yeah. Check for those Creative Commons licenses, and yeah. if, if you find another H5P object that has a Creative Commons license, you can bring it over. Okay, got it. Thank you. Oh, and I'm on, on the wrong slide. Over here. Are there any questions before I begin to demonstrate how to create something? Marco? I read did you notice that so we have a chat room uh, question from Marnie? Wondering if you need to share a file you have used. Does it auto share or do you need to make sure you share them each time? Sorry if I missed this. Uh, I think referring to you using something and then uh, making it available to others after you've modified it. I'm not sure I completely understand the question. Yes. That so so if that if 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 that okay she says correct so that's the question so um if you use someone else's work 
and let's say they have a Creative Commons attribution, the buy, share alike, and you make some changes, I would say the, the simplest way is to then share that new object that you have created under the same license in the H5P Studio. And you're done. You've fulfilled your requirements. If you take something from uh, h5p.org and you make some changes, sharing it publicly through H5P Studio is all you need to do. Make your changes, use the same license, and uh, uh, share it. You could also share it, for example, this will also work if you have like a WordPress blog. And maybe that's where you want to share this. You, do, you have to make an effort to make it available on the internet. Okay? I, um, Irene, we, sorry, we have so another think, question. Sorry. Okay, um, which one is it? Uh, U equals undisclosed. You cannot use this. You avoided that, but didn't give right. detail. Yeah, so uh, U equals undisclosed, which means they have not set um, a copyright so because they have not purposely selected a Creative Commons license I'm going to assume that that is still under a uh, um, a traditional copyright license if I wanted to use that I would have to contact the creator first okay as opposed to when the creator sets a CC BY or CC share alike license I know that I have permission to use that. So to be on the safe side, if it has a U undisclosed copyright attached to it, I don't use it because I don't know what my rights are at that particular time. Okay, I might contact them and say, hey, could you license this? Okay, so Michelle, if you're going to embed this in, in, in Blackboard, how do you give credit properly? You don't have to do anything because the copyright credit is at the bottom. Now, if you would change one, what I would do was leave their copyright and then add below it what you were, uh, what changes you made and then put your name down on that copyright as well to take responsibility for the changes that were made. So Terry says, one more, are you saying that we can copy download individual items as well as the entire file? Yes, I am, as long as it has a Creative Commons license that gives you permission to do that. So if it's Creative Commons, no derivative, don't do it. Don't make any changes, just download it and use it exactly the way it is, or embed it exactly the way it is. But on any of those other Creative Commons licenses, you can do some remixing which is pretty fabulous.